Hey there, Jasper from Presley here today with a video talking about muckracks pricing. So uh, what I'm gonna do today for the sake of this video is I'm gonna go hop around two different areas of the internet. <laughs> the first one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about muckracks own pricing page where they talk about their different pricing plans and kind of advertise what all that looks like. And then I'm gonna go to an article that we've written about muckracks pricing itself and just explain a little bit in that article, we break down a little bit more what the context of their plans look like and actually what their pricing means. Now, what I'll start out with in this video saying is that Muckrack doesn't advertise their pricing publicly. So if you wanna get an exact price for what you're looking for with Muckrack, what I'd suggest you do is reach out to their sales team. But after speaking to a lot of people in the PR market, we do know that it can be a bit exhausting to go through an entire sales cycle just to answer the question of, you know, does Muckrack fit within my budget? So that's why we've made that article and that's why we're making this video now, just to kind of give you the range of prices that Muckrack offers and see if it's worth reaching out to them afterwards uh, to see if, if they're the right fit for you. So going into the pricing page that Muckrack has, I'll scroll down here, they currently have three different plans that they offer for both brands and they offer for agencies. And from what we can tell, they're pretty much identical across both. It just depends on which type of um, team you're running for your PR. So I'll just stay in the brands area here and talk about the pricing plans they have. So the first one is their starter plan. This one's pretty basic. It's gonna give you pretty much the basic functionality for everything. Um, and reporting's really where that's gonna fall off the most. But you're gonna have basic, uh, basic capability within their media database to search people and understand more about who the contacts are in their media database. And you can also pitch to those people using their email integrations. Um, and you'll have full access to their media monitoring and alerts, so that comes baked into it. And then like I said before, basic reporting and analytics. Uh, and then with onboarding and customer support, that's where you're gonna get a little bit less time from them as their time is gonna cost more money. Um, and that starter plan is not gonna provide that. So as I see here on the site, right, that starter plan is good for solo PR pros and small businesses. Now the standard plan, which they advertise as their most popular, pretty much gives you everything you need in Muckrack, right? Like it gives you full media database and pitching capabilities. Uh, it gives you all the media monitoring and alerts you need. Um, it's still a bit lacking with reporting analytics, which makes sense because if you are just a standard team, you're not gonna need to do fully deep complex reports. Uh, and then it does give you some deeper onboarding customer support. Um, so that's really the plan that applies to most PR teams, unless you're solo, or in this case, if you're enterprise, where you'd wanna go for Premier. And Premier is their flexible plan where you can kind of ask for anything and everything you need from Muckrack. So that's how they advertise their pricing. Now, last thing I'll mention here too is that they also have add-ons. Uh, so all of these different features here do come at an extra cost. So a big disclaimer with Muckrack, right? And a lot of these companies in general that hide their pricing, um, and even ones that don't, right? We've seen it across a lot of different companies. This will advertise all these features, which at the end of the day actually only end up being accessible to people in the enterprise plan or are add-ons that are gonna increase the price dramatically. So definitely be aware of that when looking at Muckrack. Now, next I'm gonna hop back into that article that I mentioned earlier and just talk a bit through the context of Muckrack's pricing uh, within itself, right? Which one's the best one for you to choose, but also in the whole PR software landscape in general. So going over to that article here, uh, we have this little TLDR <laughs> section that I'll talk through. Um, and then I'll, we also have a comparison table that I'll, I'll bring up later. But with this TLDR, it's worth noting, all this is from us speaking with users and going on different forums and understanding what people are reportedly paying and then trying to pull up averages here. So we've seen a really wide range with Muckrack's pricing, right? And with Muckrack, they do contract-based pricing. So once you sign up, you are locked in at least for a year and then you renew every year from what we've been told. And that can range anywhere from $3,500 a year to $40,000 a year for a license. So huge variation there. Of course, it depends on your team size and your plan and everything baked into that. Now, um, I'll go down to the table later so you can contextualize what that average price looks like you know, in context with other PR tools uh, in the space. But what we've seen, the starting basic license is around $5,000 per year for one user. And then the average cost ends up being around 10,000 a year. So that's really the number I'd come into my head with if I were going into these sales negotiations is I should expect to be paying somewhere in the five figures if I were to sign up with my team for Muckrack. Uh, and then those higher end plans are really where you see 25K plus. So, um, if, if you're on the lower budget, smaller team side, expect to pay around 5K. If you're right in the middle there for that average, most popular plan, look into the five figures at around 10K. And if you are a larger enterprise team, you'll look at that 25K. They don't have a free trial. They do offer demos though. And like I mentioned before, they do have all those add-on fees that you should be aware of as well. Now going down into that pricing table I mentioned, this is where you can kind of understand, right? Like 
is Muckrack's pricing reasonable relative to other tools in the space? And as you can see in this table, right, Muckrack is definitely the most expensive of the tools mentioned here, though it's not too far off from other tools like Cision and Meltwater. And of course, it does depend on what plan you get. So Muckrack, Cision, and Meltwater, they're all in that more traditional PR software space where they're going to be charging you for an annual contract and you're going to be looking at spending at least four to five figures a year um, within that contract. And with that, you get all the features that are mentioned here. But of course, it is, um, it is a very big commitment that you're going to have and you're not going to get a free trial. So um, is Muckrack a good choice for you if you're looking for one of those more traditional tools where you're okay with being locked in the contract and you need access to things like media databases? It might be a great choice. Um, if you look at user reviews online, definitely out of these three traditional tools, Muckrack is the favorite. So if you have the budget for it and that's the type and category of tool you're going for, uh, we definitely suggest reaching out to their sales team if you feel like you're ready to take that leap. Now, if you're looking for something that's a bit more accessible, right, regardless of your team size, uh, but you just want something that's a little bit lighter and easier on the budget and also that you can give a shot before you commit to, definitely recommend taking a look at Presley. As you can see here, the annual cost is around $1,080 a year. Our starting plan is at $90 a month. Um, and it does increase from there, but you can get it as low as $90 a month and you can try it out for 14 days. You don't need to do a credit card or anything when you sign up. So we always suggest just hopping into Presley, trying it out for 14 days, seeing if you like it. And then from there, you can decide to commit or you can reach out to the Muckrack sales team and see if they have something a little bit better to offer you. Um, so yeah, so that's really the full explanation of Muckrack's pricing. Of course, with all these videos and these guides, what we're really trying to do is provide as much in-depth information on the PR software landscape. So if there's anything we haven't answered here today or any questions that you have as you're going through this video and this article, reach out to us, let us know. We'd love to provide any resources we can to make your life easier as you're going through PR software tools and hope you have a great day. All right, thank you so much. Bye-bye.